Hey guys, welcome to another server minor plugin tutorial. I'm your host LTGym007 and today we're looking at the Castle Siege plugin. So this is a really awesome minigame where there are two different teams, the Attackers and Defenders, also known as the Vikings and the Franks. And the idea of this is the Defenders are trying to protect the throne, their king, and the Attackers are trying to assassinate him. So what we're going to do today is show you how to set it up and give you the idea of this minigame. So the first thing we need to do is set a few locations. So I'm going to use the top of these towers as the two spawn points for the bases. And up here is going to be the lobby spawn. So the way we set that is forward slash castle siege and then we want to do set lobby and that's going to say lobby location set. I'm going to fly down over here. This is going to be the attacker spawn point. So we want to do castle siege and then team spawn and this one's going to be vikings. And then you notice it says when you do set spawns you must restart the server before beginning the minigame so we'll be sure to do that. And then over here this is going to be the defenders. That's where the franks are going to be. And then we want to set the king spawn point so I'm going to set it here. And we want to do the command set mob spawn. So we've set our three locations in the map and then we have our lobby location up here. So now let's go ahead and restart it. So I've rejoined the game after restarting the server and as you can see we have spawned in the lobby and we have two items in our inventory. We have the team selector so we can go for the defenders, the franks or the attackers, the vikings. So if I were to select one of them and then go to the other item which is a kick selector we can see that each team has four different kits they can choose from with various different abilities and weapons. So I'm just going to pick one of these at random. And then if we look on the right, we can see a nice scoreboard which says how many people are online, the type of game. So there's two different types. There's normal and hardcore. So if we do castle, siege, and then type, that is going to enable hardcore. And if we repeat the command, it goes back to normal. And then the last command is Castle Siege and then Start. We do need seven players to start automatically as you can see in chat, but if I do this, it will begin. So I've spawned over here in the Viking spawn point and then any Franks would spawn over here. You can see I've got a throwable axe, which I'm going to right click and I threw it over there. We have a couple of items such as Berserker's Rage and that's given us a few different things, which is nice. We have some stew for health and then we've got a melee to attack King Charles with. And then on the right you can see a countdown until the game ends. You can see how many people are playing on each team and then you can see the King's health. And there we go, Vikings won the game and it was a very easy one as I was the only one playing. So here we are in the SMPitnik control panel, you can see there's a single config.yml and in here there's a few things we can change such as max players per team the amount of timer before the game ends, how much health the king has. We have the scoreboard, which I mentioned you can obviously change this info to suit your server. We have some different colors you can change, and then the auto start amount of players, and then once it hits that, what the countdown is. And then down at the bottom, we have all of the locations that we set for our mini game. Here we are on the speaker page. You can see it's updated from 1.17 to 1.20. And if we scroll down, there's some great information about the plugin and the various different kits. And you can have a look at them in more detail down here. But if you need a server to host it on, check out serverminer.com for the best and cheapest hosting around. That's it for me. Subscribe, like, comment, and I'll see you next time.